Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper 2. Today is going to be the day where we actually flip a home in this game. It's been quite a few episodes working my way up to unlock all of the tools, but we have those today, so let's waste no time and flip a home and see how lucrative this can be. Now, looking around, I was wondering if I want to break down any of these walls or anything. There's obviously not that much room in this house. So we're not going to go too crazy with this one. This is just a nice small property. I do want to get rid of this though. Uh, because, well, it doesn't need to be there. And I do like a nice open concept. So goodbye wall. We'll get rid of this ugly thing too. We're going to be getting rid of a lot of ugly things today. This whole room is going to be redone. All right, we'll worry more about this later. Let's actually, I'm going to get rid of these because they're ugly as well. We may as well get rid of these beams too. I'm going to be doing something else in here. Okay, and we have a pretty much a gutted room now, and I think I'm happy with the layout. I have some good ideas, but the first thing I want to do is finish up this driveway. That was the big issue of me not selling this place. I didn't have this building tool. All right, so we'll bring this over here. I think that should be more than enough for a walkway, uh, and then we just got to redesign this a little bit. I do like this accent stone here. We'll keep that going all the way down to the back. All right, so we just got to do that, and let's just make sure this pathway is wide enough. I'm pretty sure it should be. This is going to look so nice, I think. And all the way down to there. Yeah, that's a perfect pathway. Perfect. All right, so we'll copy this style. Now we have that one. I love this uh, flipper tool because you can copy everything. Uh, makes actually building very, very easy. So now we just got to redesign this a bit. Okay, and step one, driveway is complete. That looks so much better already. Now, I don't like the red brick of this actual place. I think I will keep it stone or brick. Uh, but yeah, the red just doesn't match everything else. I think this would look very nice as like a grayscale house, just because there is so much gray in the wood and everything. So we're going to go for more of a grayish rock, I think. All right, we got this gray brick, which is nice, but honestly, I'm liking the idea of a regular cobblestone as well. I think that would look really nice. Oh yeah, that's that's really cool to see. Okay, so can we customize this at all? I believe, yeah, we can change the style in here. You can change the size of the cobblestones, so you can go big or small. Looks like that's all we can do for this one. I was hoping we could change the color slightly. It's still kind of red, but I think that should look way better. Let's just make sure we'll buy a few of these and start plastering the house with them. Oh yeah, that looks way better. One more thing I'm seeing, we definitely need more windows. There's only two windows on this side of the house. The front is nice, but the sides, yeah, this is lacking as well. So I'm going to think about that as we go about this. Maybe we can put some windows in the garage right here or something. But yeah, this is going to look so much better in my opinion. All right, that wasn't too bad thanks to the scaffolding. Going to be a lot in tiles though. That was two boxes and we only got one side done. But I think that's going to look, I don't know, man. Now that I'm seeing it, I don't know if it'll look good. I have to do the front to see. Okay, there we go. I believe that is everything. And now that I see it all done, yeah, I think that looks way better. I just don't like the outline of the window. So we'll worry about that in a sec. Took a bit, as you can see, but not as bad as I thought. All right, I thought this was all the paints in the game, but I don't know why, but you have to actually go into them and then you can change the color and you can go deeper on that palette or lighter, obviously. So there is actually quite a bit of colors in this game. Uh, so I think I'm going to go just an almost white grayscale. I think that will look nice in here. Okay, after a lot of painting later, we have a very white garage. I have to say I like it. It's simple, but I mean, that's kind of what you want with a garage in my opinion. But I was doing some thinking, what do I do with these two small rooms? And I think I have a good idea. This place only has one bathroom, so if we can have a pamper room, which is a bathroom without a tub or a shower, uh, that should be great. So at least we have two bathrooms. And then we also have no area up here for laundry unless we actually add it to the small bathroom that is in the house but this is already too small anyway so i think i'm gonna try and make one of these things a laundry area probably this one because of the uh angled roof there's not much room in there i also need to uh just clean the windows real quick so yeah we'll see if we can do that i don't know if there's gonna be enough space in here or not but yeah there's not many other options for this small home unless we actually add on to the home and i don't want to deal with that right now Oh my god, look at this perfect little sink. This is great for this small room. I mean, there's not much room in here, but you can get the job done if you know what I mean. That's pretty much all you need in here, and maybe a mirror or something, and then we're good. 
obviously some toilet paper as well. Oh my god, I love this game, man. You can actually attach the toilet paper to the roll if you want to. Small details like that I love. So obviously I'm going to try and detail this house a bit, but we're not going to go too crazy either. I think that's good. I just need a small trash can. Is there any in here? All right, we got one that actually matches everything else as well. Perfect. Okay, bathroom is done. Oh yeah, mirror. Crap. Okay, there we go. We got the double mirror, baby. Not only double, we got our pooping mirror as well. Okay, so we can stare at ourselves poop, and then we can see double in here if we existed. Clearly, we don't in this game. Those are some awful mirrors, man. All right, bathroom done. Hopefully, we can fit some laundry stuff in here. Oh, you know what? This might actually be good. We got the washing machine and... Please? Oh my god, it's... F you can't get better than that. That is a perfect fit. Oh, I'm so happy this room is going to work out now. This is great. All right, I was hoping to put a table in here or something, but just because of the door, yeah, we do not have the room for that. So maybe I can add a shelving unit or something here. All right, it's simple, but again, it fits perfectly. And then we can store at least, you know, detergent up there or something. There's probably actually detergent in this game. Of course there is. Laundry detergent. There we go. And, okay, maybe it doesn't fit. <laughs> Just put it there. That's the biggest bottle of laundry detergent I've ever seen. God damn it. What? Oh, my shelf doesn't work. That bothers me. Hold on. Maybe we can get it to work. At this point, you may as well just put it on top of the freaking washer. Aha! It works, though. And that's the important part. All right. I'm happy. I'm going to spend way too much time if I try and get everything perfect. All right. Well, I accidentally turned this into a horror game. I sold my lights and I forgot, you know, nighttime is a thing in this game. So we should probably deal with lighting first because I can't really see. All right, I think that's some very nice lighting in here. I'm happy with that. So yeah, we just got these boxes everywhere. We got to fix the roof. Uh, well, we got to fix everything. Let's be honest here. There is nothing in here that's going to be staying, I don't think, uh, just because it is all so ugly. So I think we're going to go for some nice hardwood flooring here. We want to change possibly the staircase as well, but let's figure out our flooring first. All right, we got quite a few choices for wood. There's a lot of light wood in here. I actually really like these. We can probably customize these by quite a bit. Oh, wow. You can even change the pattern if you want. Uh, the hex one would be pretty cool with wood. I like this. This is nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this one. We can also change the size. I would like them a bit bigger. And then you can actually... Oh, wow. You can really customize these. We got faded, rich, pure drab it was in drab before i actually do kind of like drab so we want something nice and light i think let's try that that's a nice color to me so we're gonna do that um may as well put two down because we're probably gonna need two and let's see what it looks like before we go too crazy yeah i think this is a nice muted tone i like it okay floor looks a lot better let's i think we can customize yeah we can change the style through our tool here so we should be able to edit this by quite a bit uh, wow, there's, okay, so there's eight stair railings. I wish I could kind of see it. Hold on, let me get a good view here. There, perfect. I think, honestly, I would like to go no railing, unless I can change the side. Oh, you can. Wow, this is kind of insane. So, yeah, we're just gonna take that off and make this place a little bit more dangerous. Nice. All right, we're gonna go for yellow and white walls. I think I'm gonna make this massive wall yellow just to have a nice accent wall in here and a pop of color. But I want, again, mostly for it to be muted. We'll get into more color when it comes to furnishing the place. At least, I think I'm gonna do that. We'll see what happens, So, Well, one thing is for definitely sure. This room is extremely bright now. I don't know if I like the yellow or not. We'll see once we start furnishing it. Uh, the good thing is, wow, good time to run out of paint. That was perfect. Uh, but uh, the good thing is this isn't my home, so I don't really care. But yeah, this is, it's almost too white. Maybe I should have went a little more gray. Uh, I've gone too far. That took a long time to paint, especially considering this wall is attached to this wall down here. Uh, so I had to be very careful not to paint through the floor. It looks like I did a pretty good job of that. So yeah, I don't know if I like the massive yellow wall. We'll see what happens. I definitely have to do the roof. The roof looks like mud right now. It's awful. And uh, well, we still have to do the man the master bedroom, which is massive. Now that I think about it in this house, uh, like half of the house is the freaking bedroom. And I've also gutted the bathroom. So we'll get to that sooner or later. But I mean, it's coming together. It's just slow. All right, you know what? I really like this panel for the roof. It's technically, I think, hardwood flooring, but you can do whatever the hell you want in this game. Uh, being that it was so bright in this room, I needed a darker roof, so I think this is nice. This kind of works well. 
Okay, just continued the wood flooring and roof into the bedroom here. I do actually like the red. I'm going to definitely keep the bedroom a bit darker. So yeah, I got everything else done now. I guess we'll start working on this room, painting the walls, and uh, starting to furnish the place because we're pretty much at that point now. All right, I think we're going to go fancy here. We got some really dark marble. I did like this at bottom layer, but the gross wood I didn't like. So we're just moving this over to black marble. All right, the one thing I don't like with this marble is just the hard cut to drywall. So I have this texture. There we go. I made it much smaller, and now I have this nice wooden design. See how it looks going all the way around with this. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it, damn it. All right, I think that looks slightly better. Uh, once we obviously paint the walls, I think this will look much, much better. So we want a nice, somewhat darkish red I think I'm going to go for. So we can get Venetian plaster. That just sounds fancier. So I'm going to go for that. I believe that has like texture in it, doesn't it? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know much about this stuff. But there we go. And we can change the color. Let's go for this color here. I don't want to go too dark because then it just blacks out the room. That almost looks orange now. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. Paint's cheap. We can always change it. Yeah, I definitely think the darker color is the way to go just with how dark this room is going to be. I also might change the flooring. I don't know. I'm spending way too much time on this, though, being that this is just a uh, home we're going to flip anyways. All right, well, now that I see it all together, I'm getting kind of pumped for this room. This color palette just works so well together. Everything is looking so good. So I'm really glad I chose this color because, yeah, this just, I don't know. To me, this looks great. Maybe not to you, but this is my house, damn it. I don't care what you think. All right, so that room is done. I'm happy with that. Obviously, we need to furnish, but we still need to do a little bit over here. Oh, now that I come out here, this just doesn't match well. All right, well, we'll see what it looks like once we start furnishing this thing with bright items, and I can edit, like, uh, the windows and everything, for example. But we got one more room to, you know, fix first, and then we'll get into actually furnishing this place. So I don't know what I want to do in here. Obviously, tile. It is a bathroom. All right, this one might be changed. Very simple right now. Definitely going to change it a bit. Uh, these are just massive white tiles, and then I added the yellow tiles to pop with the wall back there. Don't think it really went very well, but we'll edit it more as we start furnishing this place. I'm just going to sell everything. And yeah, now we get to the fun part. We can start furnishing it, and hopefully it goes well. One thing I do want to change in here. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Oh, thank God. It all worked out. Gotta have checkerboard tile in the garage. It just makes the most sense considering this is all white anyways. Okay, I'm happy now. All right, just editing my doors a bit. You can even change the lock color. Oh my God, this is like too much game. This is too much stuff. We'll have uh, just a copper lock or whatever I chose uh, as well. All right, I like that door for this room. We might do it for the whole house. These are just way too black. So hopefully, yeah, I can change all of these colors. Perfect. And again, we're gonna stick with European walnut. All right, now that we did one, we can just simply paste this style to all of them. The outside's still black, but I think that should be a little bit better. Yeah, I can't actually change the style of these. These are not actually part of the window, as you can see. They're just, like, there for effect. So you can't actually change the color of those, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, the brown in the middle now looks a little bit better, though, so I'm happy I did that. All right, so I took the window sills off these two only because uh, the best place to put the bed in this room, at least in my opinion, is right in front of these two uh, windows. Now, unfortunately, being that this is such a big room, I was hoping for, uh, like, a king bed. It looks like double is as big as they go. Now, these doubles might be not just simply doubles. Some of them might be larger. I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, these are the biggest beds it seems like we can get. I really like this one. This is expensive, though, man. Man, beds are not cheap. Well, some of them are. <laughs> of course, I like the most expensive one. So, you know what? We have to do it. It's, oh, man, this doesn't really... I mean, I guess it fits over here. I was going to put it here, but the wall kind of protrudes out, and that would obviously not be the smartest idea either. I wanted this for a desk over here, though. So, I don't know what I'm going to do now. All right, I have an idea. Let's uh, add windows, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna have to edit that, obviously, so I move that window over a bit. Again, we'll turn off these window sills. We can edit this a little bit more later. Obviously, I need to fix my wall and whatnot. I just want to see if this works here. That is looking much, much better. Obviously, it's a bit big, but I think I'm happy with that. There's not 
It's not cramped over here. And then I can put a desk over here. I think that's my best bet. We'll uh, fix these things in a second here. Plus, we have all these windows now. It looks fantastic. Okay, there we go. Bed is in the room. Next up, we'll do some sort of desk over here. Wait, I can... Oh my god, I can use the computer. That's adorable. All right, well, computer set up. Uh, again, trying to keep everything the same color or a similar theme. So I'm happy with that. I guess we'll just sell these now. Uh, next up, one thing I didn't think about is a dresser. We have room over here or here, so I'm just going to put something there. All right, well, we're definitely getting somewhere. I'm really enjoying the look of this room. Perfect. But these ones either work, so we don't need to change the color. It's a bit orange, but that's fine. Um, yeah, things are going well. We got this little area over here for books and Barry. Yep. I don't know much about Barry, but literally in the shop, he's just called Barry. He's a small golden mouse, and I love everything about him. Check out this light, too. This is pretty cool. Okay, cool. So I was very curious or confused because there wasn't many pictures in this game. You have to buy the picture frame, which comes blank, and then you can put whatever picture you want in it. What's cool is it actually changes the size of it as well. And it looks like you can upload your own picture. So I guess we should try that. Okay, so yeah, now we can just put whatever we want in. Change the height. Oh, this is cool. I think that looks great just like that. And there we go. I got my logo at my first house. It doesn't really match the room, but I don't care. I have spent way too long here. I'm really happy with this. Obviously, I've tried to keep the yellow accents in here because uh, this room's going to be very yellow. Uh, so yeah, red and yellow seems to be the theme of this house mostly. All right, next up, main floor. Obviously, this needs to be the kitchen uh, as well as the living room. So we're going to be tight for space here, so I can't go too crazy. Obviously, this will be the kitchen over here just because it's a nice nook. Okay, overall, I'm happy with this. We're going to add some tiling just on the backdrop here. All right, I'm happy with that. I think what I'm going to have to do, just because there's so little room in here, I might add an extra counter here and use it as... An eating table as well, kind of like a bar eating table. So we'll see what we can do with that. Yeah, you can do that. Perfect. That's what I wanted. So it's countertop four. It looks like three does it as well. And it keeps that front lip. So yeah, we'll just uh, copy that all around. And this will have to be where we eat as well. All right. Yeah, I think that is the smartest idea just to save room. Four might be a little too much, but that's fine. Okay, so I just got to decide how the hell I'm going to do a living room in this small space over here. Obviously, I'd like a TV, but the only place I can really put it is there. Or I guess cover the window. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to get much better than that. I mean, it's not much, but hey, you can get through here. It's kind of cozy. Got the world's smallest TV. I really do like the uh, kitchen, though. That's looking fantastic. We can't go too crazy here. So we have this entrance. I think I'm going to put, like, maybe a shoe rack or something here just because we need something for the entrance. All right. And yeah, that actually fits perfectly there. We'll edit that because it doesn't really match the rest of the house. All right. I think we're getting somewhere. I have furnished the place a bit, added fancy little pantsy decorations, and uh, now it doesn't seem so dull in here. So final thing we need to do is this thing, this very ugly room right now. All right. It's tight and kind of sad, but I've gotten everything to fit. We also got a nice full shower here because this is all tile. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's a video game. It doesn't matter anyways. You don't have to worry about mold damage in a freaking video game. Um, but yes, I have been able to fit everything in here. It's going to bother me that that's slightly off, but that's fine. All right, there we go. I added some, uh, metal birds. How nice, how peaceful, how beautiful. Good enough for me. I'm much more happy with everything else in here, though. Uh, super happy with how this came out. Uh, one thing I would like to maybe add is maybe just a storage thing over here. All right, so we'll just add these just so we have some garage storage. It is, of course, dark out. I do want to do a little bit more outside. Uh, but after that, we are ready to sell this thing. All right, it's still night, but I've been working on lighting. And we got some decent lighting here. I was thinking adding a pathway here, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So we'll just put a light back there like that. Uh, yeah, it looks really nice from the outside now. I added a little play area for a child. Obviously added a bit in the back. I don't have much room. There's not much room here, so I can't go too crazy. But there is a lot I can add if I want to. The one thing I would like is maybe some trees or something over here. Only because I got rid of them all and it looks pretty barren right now. So we have lots of trees to choose from. Shrubs as well. I think we're just going to go for some small maple trees. Okay, I've been working throughout the night. Couldn't really see what I was doing because it was so dark. But I have to say, I love the look of this. So I added just some shrubberies around the sides just to, you know, 
add some detail here as you saw on the back we got this wonderful playground added some more here uh back swing some bird houses aside from that i didn't go too crazy on this side just added some more trees over there just to uh add some complexity so I think I'm finally ready. It's been a three hour endeavor furnishing this home. That's not including, you know, stripping it as well. I took my time on this one because I wanted to enjoy it and I had a blast playing and I almost don't want to sell this place, but I did spend a hundred thousand just upgrading this thing on top of whatever I paid for it, which I honestly forget at this point because I bought it so long ago. But yeah, I'm super happy with it. I hope you guys are as well. All right, it actually tells me how much I've spent on the place. So the purchase price was 51,000. I renovated 91,000 into this thing. So I need to get at least 128 after the sold items that I got for 14 grand. I better get a lot more than that. I spent so much time on this. So I really want this thing to be good. How does this work? I thought I could choose my price. Oh, wow. Um, Does anybody else come? I mean, that's good. Uh, that That's acceptable. All right. Well, I don't want to jump the gun because I spent so long on this. This honestly would take a lot less time if I did email jobs to earn 43 grand. I'm going to cancel the auction. I don't know what I want to do with this. Should I make this my office, guys? Let me know in the comments below because uh, I do like the idea of it becoming my office as well. It's big enough. I, I just I'm going to have a hard time letting this thing go and never seeing it again. I would like to maybe add more to this place, but uh that's all up to you guys. Obviously, we're going to need to earn some more cash in this game to flip some more homes. So what do you think? Should I sell this one, move it to my office, and upgrade the other house that we have? Because, yeah, this one is bigger than the other house as well, so should be worth more. And I'm going to have to earn a bit of money to upgrade this thing. But, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep this as my office and upgrade it or make the other place my office? Regardless, we have furnished the home to flip it. And, uh, yeah, in the next episode, we'll either be flipping it or moving into it. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you. In the next one. Hey there. Before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing Why? my multiplayer shenanigans, then please I, consider I checking it out. Just... Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. Let's go! Get the frick out of here. You have to win. Hit him. Don't let him get the shovel or the tennis racket, dude. Oh my god. <laughs>